Hello guys, welcome to Deep Course and in today's video we will discuss the lead code question 2405 that says optimal partition of string. So guys you are here you are given one string S and you need to partition into one or more substrings such that each substring contains unique characters only. No characters or no letters inside the substring is repeated. So you need to find minimum number of such substring in such a partition uh, and note that each character should belong to exactly one substring in a partition means a, a, a letter cannot belong to two substring okay and now first let me know guys that if you are given any any string like this a b c b c d e a so in a worst case how many number of different partition you can make so you can make a partition upon each character like a partition b partition c partition b so this is a worst case scenario and here what we need to do we need to return minimum number of partition so the maximum partition can be possible is equal to number of letters here got this in the worst case how many letters are there that many different partitions would be possible okay so let's say you have uh, three letters and two partition means one partition from here then b then one partition from here uh, so uh, if there are n letters then n minus one partition is there this is just one observation that i am telling you okay now let's take a look at the first example so here you are given this string a b a c a b a okay now uh, let's say you take this in a uh, substring one in a substring one now you can't take this in a substring one because a is already there so you will make a partition now this will be a part of substring two this will be a part of substring two now again already is there so you can't take this a in a substring two so make a partition now this is a part of substring three this is a part of substring three a is already there make a partition and this is a part of now substring 4 so how many different substring you make you made 4 substring so you we return 4 as our answer got it now here this is the case s s s s s s so here you will make 5 partition so, so total 6 different substring will be formed um, so yeah we return 6 hours as our answer this is the worst case that I have told you correct so if there are n letters in a string so we will make 5 partition and total number of substring here would be the number of letters got it so question here is pretty much simple that we just need to form a substring that don't have any repeating characters okay so uh, let us take one example again so if you have something like this a a b a c b c a c okay anything like this so now uh, this will be here one partition would be there because a is repeating here here this would be another partition because a is repeating here from this substring from this substring this c is repeating so we will make here one partition from here c is this c is repeating so we will make partition okay so total substring form would be one two three four five okay so guys here to solve this question see till now i hope you have understood what the question is trying to do what we have to do here now to solve this question what we would do is we would simply do a brute force approach we would simply do what brute force now uh, what would be the brute force same uh, we will store the frequency in our unordered map unordered map or hash map you can say we will store the frequency of characters and if any character or later you can say any later is repeating uh, then what to do then uh, start a new substring and increment the count the count of substring increment clear the map uh, so we clear the map to store the new frequencies and here we st again start doing the for loop so this question is uh, pretty much simple right if uh, there is nothing much in the intuition part we will only do the brute force okay so let me directly show you the code and we will do a dry run of the code so guys as you can see that here i have to take an one unordered map u and then this is a for loop from i up till the last element and inside this for loop what i am checking is if the letter is already repeated in the current substring then what we will do we are simply in incrementing the count and making the unordered map clear okay so what is it so let me take again the example a b a c b c a okay something like this so in here let me take the count and let me take a u 
so here the uh, so initially the count is zero okay so yeah here the count is zero and here you now another map contain one character a here the count is zero another map contain character a b now here uh, see since the frequency of a is greater than zero right our order map already has a then in that case what we will do is we would increment this count p and then what we would do since from here we are making a partition and starting a new substring so for a new substring what we will do is we will we will have to clear this eu right correct we would have to make this clear and only add a so we will first make this clear and then add the current character why we have to make this clear because because here we are making a making a partition the previous substring uh, the previous characters of a previous substring has no relation from now on right we have to just forget them because already we are making a partition and starting a new substring correct so here it would be one here it would be a c here it would be one and a c b okay now as you guys can see the c is already present in the unordered map then what we would do we would make a partition increment the p and create a new u we clear the uh, previous unordered map and store the new character here it would be ca and at the end what uh, our answer would be our answer would be 2 that is number of partition we are storing and our number of substring form would be p plus 1 okay so yeah we written p plus 1 to our answer now the thing here is the time complexity here is big of n only here the time complexity is big of n but the space complexity is also big of n since we are using unordered map so uh, we can reduce the space complexity because the total number of characters are only 26 total characters are only 26 so we can reduce to big o of 26 and this is nearly equal to big o of 1 okay so for that what we did we created a vector of size 26 and initialize it to minus 1 so let me again take this example for better understanding this is c and a okay so here uh, this is one count variable let me take count and here we have one uh, substring start substring start variable also so here we have two variables count and substring start okay so here initial we are initializing count to one okay now uh, from zero up to the length of the string what we are doing we are checking if the character is uh, means uh, see initially the last scene has been initialized with minus one now if a last scene of any character is greater than substring start so we will check this see what we are storing in the last scene the index i so let me just name the index here initial the count is one and substring so guys here at the starting what is the value of substring start it is zero here it is zero and what we are storing in this last scene last scene so we are storing the freak uh, the index of the character that we have seen so here we have seen character a with index zero okay now for the next character b count is one substring start will be zero only and we are storing last scene and then for the index b for the character b we are storing its index so this is something like this last scene would be now when you encounter a what we would see is the last scene of a character a is greater than equal to substring start so the substring start was zero and the last scene was also zero so this condition is encountered so at that point what we will do we will simply create one partition okay this partition we have created now and then what we will do we will increment we would increment the count uh, also change the substring start to the current index 2 correct and then we will make a to point to what 2 now there comes the same c is uh, the count will remain 2 uh, substring start will also remain 2 and here, here so b would be already there now a would be 2 b would be 1 and c would be 2 sorry c would be 3 the index of c is 3 now you will uh, see that b b is there in last scene but this last scene is a part of previous partition see currently the substring start is 2 and the value of last scene of b is less than substring start so it is a part of previous uh, partition or previous substring so we so it is uh, it doesn't matter right it, it is not no uh, harm to us so we won't do anything uh, we will keep the substring start as well as count to that but only change here what we will do we will change um, b to 4 the value of character b to 4 now again c is encountered so c what was this um, the the value of c is 3 and 3 is 
greater than equal to substring start that means it is after the starting of the current substring so it, there, at this point what we have to do we have to create this partition and here we will increment the count to 3 the substring start index would be 5 and yeah uh, this uh, the C value would be changed to 5 and for the A, A is not a part of current, current substring so this will remain as it is so A is where value would change to 6 B's value will remain to as 4 and C values to 5 okay so yeah this is how we got 3 as our answer and the time and space complexity for this approach is time complexity is big of 1 big of n and space complexity is big of 1 you can say because big of 26 is nearly equal to big of 1 it is a constant space right so yeah, this is a better approach that where we are storing the starting of a current substring and if a starting of a current substring uh, with the help of that we are checking what was the last scene or the last present of that character what's in what was the index of the last present of of that character got it so yeah this was a pretty much easy question this approach is a better approach than this because here we are optimizing the space complexity so yeah guys that's all for this video if you guys have any doubt then do let me in the comment section make sure you like this video and subscribe to our channel thank you